Hey everyone. So I'm in a float today with my friend. Ooh, my hair. We're gonna check it out again. It's been a long time since I did this. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's check out the little place here. The stars even. So I will tune in, gonna have a shower, get in there and yeah, I'll let you know when I come out. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share about uh, an experience and encourage you to check out the lovely option of the float tanks or deprivation tanks. Sensory deprivation, I think, is what they go by. This I had spoken about in one of my other videos on some of my favorite, like top 10 altered state experiences. But I enjoyed another float last night and it was amazing. And so I would really encourage you to do it because the feelings of relaxation and peace, it's like totally worth it. And yeah, so share some clips of my time there and talk a bit about that experience. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would encourage you to do that now. Hit the little, little notification bell and the subscribe button. Feel free to share this with anyone you think might be interested in the merging of integrative approaches to mental health and wellness. And so I ended up going very like spontaneously with a friend of mine to one of our local float tanks yesterday. So before I get into all the details, what exactly is a float tank? So the float tank is a tank or some like little kind of container that is filled with maybe a foot and a half of water that is extremely um, concentrated with Epsom salts. Okay, I'm gonna get in. Here we go. Toes, toes, toes. I think they might add other minerals. I'm not too sure, but it's as if you have like the Dead Sea in a tiny little like space capsule. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. And there's lights and sometimes there's music depending, but really what happens is you go, you like shower yourself, make sure you get rid of all the oils, everything on your body. And then you go and you lay in this water. And because of the high concentration of salt, you end up floating. And so it gives you this very like weightless sort of feeling. It's super relaxing. The lights and everything most of the places you have control of like if you want the lights on or off this place is really neat they have like star um, lights on the top so you could like keep them on if you want or I like to go completely darkness <laughs> even though I'll be honest like a lot of times even before we went because it had been like quite a while since I'd gone to like float I was getting this like a little bit of anxiety and fear of like oh my gosh what if some big trauma or something is like coming up or some like awareness is going to come in that I can't control or I get really freaked out about. Ooh. This is something that comes up for me sometimes, but, uh, it was just so like peaceful to be in complete darkness. And there's also some like stuff around the pineal gland, opening your third eye, opening your intuitive like senses with kind of just entering into that darkness. So if that's something that freaks you out, maybe it's worth kind of experimenting, going somewhere, going with a friend. You do float separately because you are in the nude. <laughs> I don't think they'd ever let people float together and I don't really know how that would work because the things are super small, but you just lay in there and enjoy the process of initially kind of bouncing off the walls and like, you know, and then uh, eventually you do get into a place of some, I think relaxation and peace. I found it really funny last night because I uh, like when I initially went in, I was had a little bit of expectation of my past experiences going and I usually can just like 
I totally like zonk out complete, like fall asleep. Then I wake up and then I have stuff happen. It was probably like a good 70, 75 minutes, 80 minutes. I had my mind just like hamster wheel, hamster wheel, hamster wheel going. I felt uncomfortable, like my body, I kept needing to move. I was like doing things there, like trying to like bend in these like, I think it's like a moon yoga pose. And I was like allowing myself to kind of play in the space. But I also was kind of getting hard on myself, like, why can't you just shut your mind off? Why can't you relax? And like, what's going on? And almost to the point where I was like, maybe I should just get out. (laughs) Which is usually a sign for me, okay, there's something here. And I just let myself be in the space, even with all the uncomfortableness and whatever. And when we were both done the the session, uh, we were talking, my friend and I, and he was like, same thing. He's like, I could not relax. He's like, and we were having kind of the same thoughts, which I thought was kind of funny about different things while we were in there. But it was maybe like the last like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't really know because obviously there's no clock in there. That that like relaxation, I actually finally felt just a peace. My body felt relaxed. My mind was kind of just like chill. <laughs> or at least I wasn't aware of like of the thoughts going through, you know, it's like you kind of enter in this sort of expansive state. And yeah, it was like, it was really lovely being done. And just like at the end, the music coming back on, because that's kind of how they like get you to know, like, hey, it's time for you to get, get the fuck out. (laughs) And the lights, I turned the star lights on because I was like, let's see what that's going to look like above me. And just enjoying like that moment of like returning And it's interesting when you're in these like float tanks, how much your body becomes, you become aware of like little like nuances or something about your body or like the, the way you hold it or move it and how it feels. Like I almost felt like I had shrunk down into like nothingness. Um, I remember holding myself and I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't touch myself because like, you know, it's like almost like, am I even existing here in this like nothing darkness space? But, you know, overall, like, the night slept well. I feel, like, super relaxed. It's, like, the minerals. It's the the floating. I liken it to having a massage for, like, two to three hours straight. Like, your body just feels really chill after. So I would encourage you, if you have a float tank uh, option near you, to go and check it out. Like, there's quite a few in our city, or at least there were. Uh, we check out Modern Gravity, which is really cool. And um, the guys are really neat there too. It just has like a nice chill vibe, you know, great place to explore. And I would love one day to do like a 30 day everyday float challenge. Oh, I think that would be like life changing. Not really sure (laughs) what to expect. And I'm also interested, like what the longest time is someone's been in a float tank. That also might be an interesting thing to explore because like 90 minutes, two hours that like it's doable. Um, I think even if you haven't really done a lot of like meditation or anything, it might take time and practice to get used to it. But I think this is like another one of those tools that we should be adding to our toolbox, you know, a technique that can support you with just coming into a place of like altered state and things do come up. Like some of the dreams I had last night, it's just interesting to see how like it's always this progression through awareness right and i really do feel i really do feel like this is just part of life this is about us growing and creating the change that we hope to kind of like be in the world right and so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried a float tank experience, if you are like a naysayer to this, and if so, why? Like, what do you think is your biggest fear, biggest worry? Uh, I know in my head, I had like the uh, concept of the deprivation tank from that show Fringe, I think. (laughs) Every time I go in there, I'm like, maybe I should take a bunch of acid or something and like go in here, or is there like acid in the water? That probably would be pretty intense, to be honest.
leave your comments below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.